Right, here we are in Fife Aerodrome in Scotland. We're going to do a quick first test of the Trilander with uh, update 10 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. See how it works. So let's just quickly get things started. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Right, off we go. Throttle's a bit high there, I think. Way too high. Excellent. Good. So, let's get the avionics on as well. Just see, there's no Scottish controllers online, so we'll just. Uh, programming Unicom. And we'll uh, taxi out. There's a little stutter there. Let's see whether we have fewer stutters with uh, this version 10 of the update. Let's see if there are any other perceivable differences. Range power failure switch light can come on. Five traffic, Golf Sierra November Kilo Yankees departing runway 24 VFR Edinburgh. Okay, full power. Traffic, ET 62, Whiskey Tanker is airborne runway 24, climbing through 3,500, climbing 6,000 feet initially. Traffic to the bus. Okay, okay, now let's rotate. Okay, we're looking good. Oh, look at the airspeed indicators being a bit more wobbly than normal. That's a bit more realistic, that's good. Okay. 200 above. Let's uh, get flaps up. Rearrange the power phase switch light off, and we'll go back to 25 inches. 2,500. Now, this is interesting. Do I recognize this little tower thing there? I don't know if I do. I need to avoid this town of King Lassie. Okay, so we're climbing up at 90 knots. I forgot to put my landing lights on for departure, but that's fine. Okay, climbing at 90 knots. That seems very good so far. Okay, can I see this traffic? I, not from here, no. Oh. Right, so... Everything's looking really... Feeling a bit different, actually, in a good way. Oh. <laughs> I took off with the uh, carpet cold. That was very bad. Right, let's start to level off now. Okay, so we'll see how e easy it is to trim. Okay, let's uh, come over, um, what's this called? Lock all meadows. We'll get power back to 23 inches. Two thousand three hundred RPM, approximately. We'll start to try and trim. Fuel pumps could have come off a long time ago. That's fine. Okay, we'll try and trim. Right, so we'll head towards KLT now. Just check. Uh, uh, Glasgow Towers now online, but we don't need to speak to them, obviously. Right, let's uh, get our mixture sorted. So we'll look for a slightly lean of peak. That's the left one. Right, uh, middle one and right one. Okay, 
go back to the rear what rear engine right at 2,000 feet let's uh, trim properly we we'll head towards lock 50 which is uh, this lock here on the nose okay let's have a look towards Edinburgh the frame rates and things looking quite good it seems quite smooth so far And, uh, yeah, my cruise speed seems a little bit more realistic for these power settings as well, so that's really good. Really good, right, the state under 2000. Okay, wait a minute. So Edinburgh's over there. So if there's no Edinburgh or Scottish controller online, we can just... Uh, fly our own route towards Edinburgh. Yeah, this is looking good so far. It feels in a way like the graphics are, I don't know if they're a bit sharper, I'm not sure if they're changed or not, but uh, certainly impressive. Right, we're now coming over Log 50. So we'll just turn over this little town of King Seat. So we're over lot 50 now. King Seat's behind this pillar. Let's uh, start a gentle turn. Head over towards King Seat. Right, let's open this window to see it a little bit better. Yep, so it's Kia's Beat Court, just to Cuddy House Road. There's Main Street. And there's the King Street Road heading down the hill. Very nice. We'll close that now, it's a little bit noisy. Right, so. All the instruments are looking good, nice and green. And we'll do carpet as we come into the descent. So I think it's going to be runway two for Edinburgh for sure with the prevailing winds. I'm actually just going to look on my app using this live weather. In fact, let me just check if I am using live real, I'm using real time, oh no, real time, looks like that, well I don't want that, that's too dark, do you know what, maybe I'll just go to like, I'll go like, where we, where we were, where were we, about there, that's fine, okay, lost a bit of, gained a bit of height there, so get a bit more power off, right, let's look at the wind, Okay, wind is 2307 knots, that's fine, that's good, still a bit high, no more controllers online, that's fine. Head of a traffic, Golf Sierra November, Kilo Yankee is approaching the fourth bridges. We'll be joining a visual right hand downwind runway 24, full stop. Yeah, a bit of a wind pushing me off to the side here. Lovely. Right, let's uh, start to head towards Cramond then. get our pre-landing checks on the go. Ah, there's a guy on final there. Did he actually call? I don't know. Maybe I just missed it. Head of traffic, Golf Kilo Yankee is right hand down when runway 2-4, contact with number one ahead. Right, so brakes are off. Undercarriage is fixed and welded. Let's get 
carpet cold now. Mixture's fully rich. Fuel pumps on. Get power back and get into VFE speed. Head of a traffic golf kill Yankees turning right base two four to land. Okay, watch my height here. Head of traffic, just a uh, right here. I'm going to focus on. Just got a bottom part to remain in for. Okay, let's have a look this way. Can't see anyone on final, I don't think. Right. Power back, let's get our first stage of flap down. Yeah, uh, this speedo a ASI is much better. The right. The first stage of flap. Head of the traffic, Golf Kilo Yankee is turning final runway 24, contact with the one lining up. Okay, right. Uh, dear pilot, uh, small question. Any of you have updated to SU 10 and are you experiencing like wings and all of that? Um, I have updated to number 10. Now, what was the second part of the question? I'm flying the Phoenix, but obviously taking off from Dublin, you can feel like it's becoming a bit difficult with the winds, and even landing now, it was very difficult with the winds. Yeah, Roger, um, the winds definitely seem modelled a bit differently, um, but it seems a bit more realistic to me. It is, actually. I'm just surprised, that's all. It is interesting, thank you. No worries, and I've noticed my um, airspeed indicator is, ju is jumping around the needle in my uh, piston-engined aircraft much more like real life. Right, let's get... Yeah, it is. And also, regarding settings, uh, what are you guys using? I've switched to DX12 today, and I'm using DLS balance, and it seems to be very smooth. I'm just on uh, DX11 at the moment without DLSS. Right, can we fence? Gosh, this. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Right. Okay. Let's... Gosh, these winds are much, much better models. Oh, that was good. Head of a traffic, Golf Kilo Yankee is going around. I'll be going into a visual right-hand circuit. These winds are definitely well modelled. There is, I'm telling you. Can you walk for you, good pilot? <laughs> right, let's get. Uh, so, oh, flaps are all up. I should have just done drag flap away. That was uh, right. Let's get. Uh, Edinburgh traffic, Golf Kilo Yankee is turning early right crosswind for the departing traffic. I have to say, this, the winds, I mean, just the way the feel looks right much better. Cool, Fox off, departing from 824, Edinburgh traffic. Okay, I've got my car piece still on. That was bad. I should have taken that off at short final, but I was chatting to that guy. Did I do my landing lights? I don't even know if I put them on. I didn't. That's fine. Right, let's get power back now to... Okay, that's good. Let's just level off here. And we'll turn downwind. Ryanair. Head of a traffic, Golf Kilo Yankee is right hand downwind runway 24 to land. Right. 
Okay, speed is slower. Okay. Yeah, this is great. Really, really, really great. Okay, let's uh, carpet on. Get power back. Okay, BFE coming in over uh, the A90. Okay, there's the fields. Okay, let's just watch my power. Right, car peat now come off. Fuel pumps are on. Landing light is now uh, on. Right, just make sure there's no other controllers on. That's fine. Okay, so my... Head of a traffic, Golf Kilo Yankees is short final, second attempt from a 2 4 to land. Okay. Full flaps, trim down, a bit high, let's get power right back. Okay, a bit higher this time. Okay. Look at the S airspeed indicator needle, that is so much more realistic, I think, unless it's just because of this particular weather conditions. Right, let's get prop full forward. Okay, I'm on the glide slope. Wow. This is going to make things so much more immersive. I'm loving this. Right, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Power idle. Okay, holding off, holding off, holding off. There you go, that's better. Let's get brakes on. Left idle one bit down. Edinburgh traffic, Golf Kilo Yankee is safety down, second attempt. Short backtrack to exit of Charlie will be taxing stand 200 via Alpha Papa. Well, that was great. So let's get flaps up. Landing lights can now come off as we exit the runway. We'll get the fuel pumps off as well. Check there's no one coming down there, that's fine. Yeah, that was a great, great flight with a SU-10 in the black box Trilander and I honestly think it felt not just different, but more realistic and better. So that's, um, I think it's boding well for the immersion factor. Oh, now there's a fire truck wanting to get in my way down there. That's fine, we will let him. Okay, let's turn right down here. Okay. Right, let's slow down a bit here. Now let's turn onto the stand 200 on the North Cargo apron. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, was my first flight in SU-10 in the Black Box Trilander, and I have to say, absolutely loved it. So, see you soon.